Hi everyone, this is Terence Tan, the Impossible Investor. Now, I'm just going to do a quick market update over here for the 10th of May. All right, it's Friday again, and for option traders, option sellers over here, it's expiry Friday. Now, so if you have any option positions that are about to expire today, make sure you have them checked. Uh, make sure you take the necessary actions over here, and may you have a profitable expiry Friday over here for all of you. Now, so let's take a look at what has happened in the markets uh, in last night's trading. So uh, the terrorist effect or the Trump's effect kind of got a little bit more serious when the reasons uh, to why Trump has decided to raise the tariffs on China goods over here came out in the news. All right, so uh, it's all about China, you know, turning back on whatever their agreements uh, they made with the U.S. counterparts over here. So you know, it's more than kind of like a negotiation tactic uh, that is happening with the tweets over here. So that kind of puts more fear in the you know short-term horizon over here for traders. Uh, so we see the sell-off immediately over here happening when the markets open. So the S&P literally opened at about uh, 2836, all right, after closing the day before at about 2879. So that's a pretty hefty drop, but it didn't stop there. It continues selling off over here to a low of 2836. All right, so if you look at it over here, that's you know almost a uh, 50 over point drop over here in the S&P. All right, so that's slightly over, uh, if I'm not wrong, 2.5% two, two over there. So that really shook the market. But what happened over here was it kind of started to stabilize again, as we have uh, seen over a couple of occasions over here. Uh, so what has happened is probably the initial triggers on the cut loss and you know all the portfolio hedges that uh, the traders and the hedge funds need to be doing and taking over here in the market has been done. All right, And it kind of settled down as it reaches uh, kind of lunchtime in the US hours over here. Now, so what we did over here was we took on a couple of trades and you know we continue to check the maintenance levels on some of our trades that we have taken out this week. Now, so let's quickly have a look at some of the trades that we have taken out earlier in the week. Now, so uh, what we have over here is we have uh, you know a trade on FV over here. All right, FV has done pretty okay because uh, yes, it opened down as well, but you know as the market recovered, you can see that its strength and it quickly recovered back into what we call uh, the trading tr the trading channel or the trading zone over here for this particular stock. Yeah, okay, all right, now, so we have an option sell position over here expiring uh, today. Yeah, all right, expiring today over here on this particular stock. Now, another trade that we uh, kind of have uh, that's also expiring up today over here is on uh, Walgreens. Yeah, all right, Walgreens Boot Alliance over here has been one of our favorite stocks when it comes to selling uh, options on a week-to-week -week or regular basis. So this has done well as well, uh, recovering when the market kind of pulled off from its low over here as well. Okay, now. Uh, another one that we did this week was really Target. Yeah, all right, okay. So Target, uh, you know, held up firm, held up strong as well uh, in this week's trading. Yeah, all right, okay. Now, so uh, let's take a look at Altria. All right, Altria kind of rebounded up uh, from the lows as well, and yeah, it's holding steady as well. So you know, this this is the reason why we want to keep uh, our basket of stocks with companies that we're familiar with because you know we start to establish the behaviors behind these companies and kind of you know, start to be able to predict what they're about to do and be prepared for all the possible outcomes that they can throw at you, all right? So this is, this is, you know, how we keep the environment safe for impossible investors and, you know, anyone who's in our community over here. And in the meantime as well, we keep it really, really simple as well, okay? Now, so uh, moving on over here, on a new trade that we took yesterday night, yeah, okay, after, after an impossible investor sharing session uh, in Singapore earlier in the evening, right, I came home over here, took a look at the market plunge, you know, and quickly over a five minute period over here decided, hey, I'm gonna go to one of my favorites over here, all right? Not just my favorite, but probably, you know, one of the best investors in the world, Buffett's favorite as well. And that's really none other than Coca-Cola over here. Now, so when I spotted Coca-Cola, it was around about the low of the day, all right? So I initiated a sell put position uh, to my community over here on Coca-Cola, all right? I think it returns about 1.2% over here by next Friday's expiry as well, all right? Now, did I know that the market was gonna turn? Did I know that Coca-Cola was gonna turn from you know, hitting that 47, low 47 levels after I've placed the orders? No, I don't know. Yeah, I've always told this to the community, I invest as though I don't have the crystal ball. All right, mine is broken, mine is lost. If you have one, please share it with me. I'd love to buy one over here. <laughs> okay, now, so what we do instead is we prepare ourselves for the market. We know uh, what's possible with the companies that we work with over here and we continue to generate the income that we need. So that's, that's how we do it over here. Right, it's, it's pretty similar to, you know, if you meet a staunch property investor who only knows how to buy good properties, all right, you ask him any day in, day out over here. If he's looking for an opportunity, he'll tell you he is. Yeah, right, he knows exactly what he's looking for over here. 
that's how you know we operate our system over here in Impossible Investor, right? We don't want to keep looking for new stocks just to get a money-making opportunity. We just want to go back to the stocks that we are familiar, that we are comfortable with, all right, and start milking this income on an ongoing basis from them. All right, let's keep things much simpler over here, uh, building an investment portfolio in this manner. Yeah, all right. Now, so that's really how we do things over here. Uh, next thing over here was to really uh, kind of follow up on, you know, earlier in the week where I did a summary on, you know, a low street that we, we taken out and we profited from it, right? Now, so this is a case where, hey, you know, we, we took the high probability trade over here. It went down, all right? We capitalized on the profits over here and I think we locked out uh, somewhere around here, all right? Now, this is where I missed the opportunity to make even bigger profits because uh, the stock actually went lower. So if I bought a put option and it going down lower would mean a bigger profit at the end of the day. But, you know, I've got, I, I hit my profit target. I hit the reason of what I wanted out of the trade itself and it's time to get out, right? It's, it's really about keeping things simple and maintaining a discipline behind those trades over here. Okay, all right now, so that's lows as well. Uh, for my pro traders community, we executed a trade on Disney over here. We basically expected uh, the earnings of Disney to be a non-event over here, all right? We don't expect the stock prices to move by much and yeah, it didn't move by much. It closed. Uh, at about 135 levels and it opened yesterday night also at about 135 levels. That gave us the opportunity to close the earnings trade that we took out over here. Right? And uh, if you saw my post uh, in Facebook and in uh, Instagram as well, we basically risked $140 uh, loss over here and we, we eventually made $120 profit on this particular earnings trade itself. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty good trade after all. Yeah, all right now. So uh, that, that's pretty much what I want to talk about. That's what I want to look at over here. So going back to uh, the S&P over here, I think we're going to see a lot of volatility because today is the day where the tariffs uh, on China goods actually start to take effect, right? And everybody's going to be all, all eyes on what China is going to do, what China is going to uh, retaliate when it comes to these policies that the US has taken out on them. Uh, but, you know, there is no way to prepare for this. There's no way to expect, you know, exactly what they're going to do or what they're going to say. So the best way over here is to make sure whatever trades that you have, whatever exposures that you've taken out there in the market, right? Make sure you're comfortable with them, right? And you know exactly if things turn against you, what you need to do over here, right? Now, so just a quick summary. I'll be flying off uh, for a workshop over the weekend over here, training new impossible investors uh, over in Bangkok, Thailand. So meanwhile, all right, I hope you have a good option expiry, a good trading day to end the week over here. Uh, stay safe, stay sane, stay impossible over here. All right, this is Terence Tan, the Impossible Investor, signing off for today's market summary. All right, see you again soon.